All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. This vampire showed up while you were away. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say to you. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me, and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there, and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you've figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. He just became absorbed. Obsessed. He was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I did, but something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside. Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime... Don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. 
Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away, in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I knew it would come to this one day. Yes? If you think it'll help. isn't exactly a palace, is it? Still, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Isran needs me. It must be pretty bad. My 
wonder what we're up against here. A basic one, of course. That is, assuming you know anything about steelsmithing. It's pretty simple. Talk to Gunmar if you need materials. It's sort of a random assortment of things. See anything useful? I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. With mixed results. But as luck would have it, I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings. So, if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me? Self killed. If you're putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Take these. East Run had a surprising stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. care of yourself. Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. The tale of the great moth priest hunt. Not something I'd want to read. That's... a long story. I guess... we kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Exactly. The first vampire came from Molag Bal. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Bal is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. 
And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. Yeah. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. I will be. Just give me a little time. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Do you need something? Yes, but when I was here it wasn't so... crumbly. This used to be a city. I wonder what happened here. You will be just as impressive, dead.
May your next fight bring you victory. I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. A moth priest? What an oblivion do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragonbridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there. May I help you, Archmage? All right, then. Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. I don't know what a moth priest is, but I did see an old man in a robe not long ago. He's riding in a wagon with some Imperial guards. They didn't stop to visit, though. They rode through town, heading south, and went across the big bridge. It was only just a little bit ago. I bet you can catch them if you hurry up. Bye. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. What a fantastic bridge! I didn't even know dragons used bridges.
Jor!
Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. I owe you a debt for the timely rescue. <sighs> I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right, then. Enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll. Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Thank Don't the divine speaking. 